In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the subtotals option to analyze the data. What we want to know is the amount spent per year on these movies in the US box office. And then we'll check worldwide box office. So we'll do a couple subtotals in this video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to format our range. You'll notice that this isn't a table anymore. I've cleared the table and set it as a range. I'm going to hold down Control Shift and my right arrow to go all the way to the right of my data. And then my still holding Control and Shift, I'm going to hit the downward arrow. This will select all the data underneath the headings. Then I'm going to change the cell styles to be all the same color under the headings. I'm doing this because when we add the subtotal row, the colors make it very confusing to see those subtotals rows that are added in. The next thing we need to do here is we need to format our released date so that it shows just the year. In order to select all of the data in this row, again, I'm going to hold down Control Shift on my keyboard and then tap on the downward arrow. I'm going to go into the more number formats and I'm going to select a custom and then type four Y's to represent the year. So this is formatting the release date to only show the year in the date. The next step is to sort the data. The data sort. So we're going to sort by the release date and we'll just leave that as default oldest to newest. This is very important. This is the first step you need to do before you can start calculating your subtotals is you need to sort by the field that you want to group your calculations. So now I can see all of my movies here are sorted by their release date. Finally, we're going to go into the subtotal tool. So at each change in, this is always the field that you've sorted by. So here we can see released. I'm going to sum the US box office dollar amounts. We don't have any subtotals currently, so it doesn't matter whether this is checked or not. And we do want a summary of the data below, and we don't want a page break between groups because we're not printing this data. We just want to look at it to analyze it. So click OK. And now we can see that the data is grouped. Here we've got these additional subtotal rows. Um, by the years they were released with a total for that given year. In the top left hand corner we can see 1, 2, and 3. Click 1 here. Um, it will collapse down to the grand total. So this is a summation of all of the US box office movie tickets. If you go to 2 you'll see uh, the subtotal rows for each year and obviously these subtotal rows for each year add up to the grand total. And then the third option here is the details for those subtotals. If we want to remove the subtotal rows, we go back to the subtotal option and click Remove All. Let's do one more quick subtotal. So this time again, we're going to use the release date and let's calculate the worldwide box office amounts. So using subtotal, yes, my data is already sorted by the release date, very important. We are now going to sum the worldwide box office. Actually, let's do a different function here. We've got a number of statistical functions. Let's do average. So if we had subtotals here, subtotals still, it would replace them. And we do want that grand total summary at the bottom. So you can see here, now we've got the average for the year, and we can collapse our data down to see it in a more condensed view.